Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to talk about will doing a high fat ketogenic diet clog your arteries? Now, just from the pure um, observation of eating more fat and a, a fatty clogged artery, it sounds logical that if you were to eat more fat, you're going to get a clogged artery, okay? It sounds logical that you would eat more fat and then get more fat in your body, right? But <laughs> That's not how it works in the body because in the body there are various hormones that tell certain types of calories um, to, what to convert into. And the, the hormone that tells the body whether to clog the artery or clean out the artery really is called insulin. So insulin is like the switch that converts fat into the body's storage and also clogs arteries. Uh, insulin is a very... Um, inflammatory hormone. If you have too much of it, you can have a lot more inflammation, which can set you up for a whole series of events um, from the body start healing the inflammation or the lesion in the arteries with a combination of cholesterol as a band-aid, calcium, and fibrous uh, fibrin, which is a kind of a connective, connective tissue, to form a little bit of a clot. So really, what, what started that would be the high levels of insulin not necessarily consuming cholesterol. Now, cholesterol is made by every, almost every single cell in the body. Your body makes about 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol is equal to 300 strips of bacon. It's equal to about a pound of butter. It's equal to 14 eggs. So your body makes a lot of cholesterol, okay? So when you consume more fat, your body just makes more, less, okay? That's how it works. What really creates this clogged artery is high levels of insulin by consuming too many carbohydrates. Um, so if you were to cut your carbohydrates down, like the breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, things like that, and sugar, if you were to cut that down, you would notice your cholesterol would go way down. Also, your triglycerides would go way down. Your bad cholesterol would go down. But if you were to increase the sugar and the insulin, your cholesterol goes up. And you should even experiment with yourself to see if this is true for you. Um, but what I wanted to give you is I have a little mini course that's very quick. You could probably get it done in maybe 20 minutes on ketosis to give you the basics. I show you how it works what to eat, the tweaks that I'm going to recommend, and the side effects. It's a very short little mini course. I put a link down below. So if you're not familiar with ketosis, you can take the course. It's free. And get it done within 20 minutes and really have a better understanding of it. So check that out. And thank you so much for watching.